friends and welcome back to my channel. So I think this is the first sit down video you guys will have seen with my blonde hair. So if you hate it, that sucks because it's sticking around for a while and I like it. So please don't be mean. Today we are doing my June TBR. I promise I'm wearing a shirt. I tried to wear the most rainbow thing that I owned, but I've been deviating away from color, so I don't own very much rainbow. But since June is Pride Month, we did our best. We're sitting in front of my most colorful shelves. I tried for the background. So I have quite a few books on my TBR, uh, but I'm kind of doing more of a loose TBR where I do very similarly to what Olivia Reads Latte did with her last TBR and what I'm sure plenty of other people do with their TBRs. She's just the only person that I've seen do it uh, where they give themselves they give themselves prompts and just try to fulfill those prompts. Um, so my number one goal is to read a couple of books for Pride Month and I have some options here and I have a bunch of books that I'm going to talk about that I do want to read in the month of June. I just also want to give myself criteria but leeway so that I'm not stressing about well I said I was going to read this book and I didn't even do it. Plus like if I get new books that kind of fulfill what I'm aiming for like that works obviously but if they're not in my TBR video then like I'll have a guilty conscience about it so this eliminates that. I'm still talking to you guys and like showing you the books that I do want to read throughout the month but I'm also prefacing them with prompts so that if I swap something out I can do it guilt-free. <laughs> we have a good amount of romance, uh, some YA contemporary which I'm very excited about as well as some thrillers and manga that I want to read. So let's just get the ball rolling. The first two books that I want to talk about before I forget, Blue Flag Volumes 5 and 6. I don't have Volume 5 physically. It's getting here June 1st is what Amazon says. So fingers crossed that that is accurate because after Volume 4, like, I don't know how much longer I can wait. So I'm going to be reading this one and then I already have Volume 6. So I'm going to be continuing on with this series. It is one of my favorite manga series, if not my favorite manga series I have literally ever read. The art style is so cute. The characters are amazing. The themes, it just... I literally made a whole bookstagram post about this. Um, if I can, like, find it, I'll pop a picture in here but I just was gushing about this book because it deserves it like how can you not not this book but this whole series like it's amazing I've given each book 4.5 or more stars the other thing is that Rylan and Stasia are hosting the back to kindle readathon uh for the entire month of June which I am so 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 excited about in preparation I have been reading so much on my kindle and absolutely flying through books I'm absolutely having an amazing time and just loving my kindle I'm so obsessed with it right now so I am hoping to potentially do a whole separate video for my tbr for the back to kindle readathon uh, but I do intend to participate in that and some of the books that I have on my kindle are Under One Roof by As Ali Hazelwood as well as um I think like Stuck With You is the second novella that's coming out in the like novella bind up on ebook. I have all of them pre-ordered but whatever the one that comes out in June is I want to read those two books and then Rylan also co-hosts with Elle the Book Boyfriends Are Better book club and I would really like to read the whole Him series by Elle Kennedy and Serena Bowen. So I think those are the like three things that I wanted to mention book wise for my TBR so that I didn't forget because I don't have any of those things sitting right next to me. Speaking of Al Kennedy, I think June is the month that I want to continue on with the Off Campus series. I finally have the entirety of the Off Campus series as well as Briar U in the Al Kennedy imprint editions. So I think this might be the time to marathon them and I could not be more excited. This one I started and got a whopping 16 pages in. I don't even remember when so I need to <laughs> restart it uh, but I really enjoyed book one and loved 
book two so I'm very very excited to read book three because so many people love this one as well. Then as I mentioned I have some books for Pride Month that I really want to get to. So the first one is one that I think I got last year and that is Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe. I don't know anything about this. It's 1954 and America is not a safe place for two girls to fall in love, especially not in Chinatown because the Red Scare was going on. So we are following at least one Asian main character. Uh, I don't remember if the love interest is Asian or not, um, but they are at a, they like meet at a lesbian club uh, and so many things are going on with our like main character. Uh, and then on top of that, like, she's a lesbian and that's not widely accepted at this time so the added stress of falling in love when it's not acceptable societally I'm sure she's just completely overwhelmed I've heard amazing things about this I saw so many people give it five stars so I am super super excited to read this one in June I hate that it looks like I'm not wearing a shirt so much I can't stop looking at that a book that I picked up I think earlier this year is Loveless by Alice Oseman. Uh, I believe this was in my most recent book haul, but we are following Georgia who discovers, I believe that they are asexual and aromantic and they're very confused because like all of their other friends are falling in love around them and they're like, isn't that what I'm supposed to be doing? Why don't why don't I feel like that? This is not making any sense to me. But I loved Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. Honestly, I might do a reread of Heartstopper in June and do like a day of reading Heartstopper vlog and then watch the show and like vlog my reaction. I know I'm so late to the game for that, but it could be fun. Let me know if you're interested in that video. But yes, so I'm super excited to be picking this one up and I'm sure that I will really enjoy it. I didn't love Radio Silence. I think I gave it like a 3.5, 4 out of 5 stars. So like it was still really good, but I'm excited to read a different story by Alice Oseman because I think I will potentially really, really enjoy this one way more than I enjoyed. Literally just at the title, why can't I remember it? Radio Silence. <laughs> there we go. But like maybe even more than Heartstopper as a full length novel. Who knows? Who knows? Nick and Charlie are hard to- Then, a book that I'm literally so embarrassed I haven't read yet, but I'm so excited to be picking up is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I cannot believe I haven't read this yet. Everybody and their mother has talked about this for such a long time, and I've still never seen a bad thing about it, to be honest with you. I think the only, like, negative thing that I saw about this was that it gets pretty political, but I have really grown to love politics and books no matter the setting, especially because I want to go to like law school and things like that. Like I have really grown into loving that and understanding everything that goes into law and politics the like. I don't know if that made any sense, but I think you guys get the point. But anyway, I think that that being the only negative thing that I've seen about this book, and I didn't even really see it that often. It was just some people like, eh. I could have done with less of it. I think that I will still really really love this book and it has, it very much has five star potential. I also have Casey McQuiston's other book One Last Stop so if I just need more of their writing I can pick that up and I'm also, I'm not supposed to be buying any more books right now but the desire to pick up I kiss Shara, Wheeler, Shara or Shara, I don't know how you pronounce the first name but Shara or Shara Wheeler so high so i might break my book buying ban for that especially the barnes and noble special edition because the purple can we talk about the purple like the original is stunning too but this is like my power color so i think i might just have to do it so yeah very excited for the prospect of that i'm sure i will find other books as well i was just quickly grabbing a bunch so that i could film this video for you guys like boyfriend material by alexis hall could be great. Rylan actually sent this one to me, I'm pretty sure. This one could also be very good. I saw that Alexis Hall wrote, it's a historical romance featuring a transgender main character, I believe. And that looks so freaking good. 
so also might break my book buying ban for that as well <laughs> then i have some more romances that i want to read for summertime as well as some thrillers that i'm so excited about um i don't know if this is a thriller or just a young adult contemporary but either way i really want to read the chandler legacies by abdi nazamian i was supposed to read this last month and um, my whole TBR got deviated because I started marathoning some series. I mean, like, it's still- it's only the 24th when I'm filming this, so, like, I could still potentially read this before June, but in case I don't, it's also on my June TBR because I really, 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 really want to read this one. <laughs> then, a new release that I am so excited about is Family of Liars by E.L. Lockhart. This is the prequel novel to We Were Liars, but you have to read We Were Liars first because this spoils something like in the very first sentence. Like it spoils the whole main like thing in We Were Liars. Um, and I am very excited. I started it, by started it, I mean, I read like two pages and I was already pretty invested. So it's taking a lot out of me to not pick this up right now. I'm also so infatuated with my Kindle that I just forget physical books like this. Then, Another one of my most recent purchases is The Agathas by Kathleen Glasgow and Liz Lawson. This one, um, I've heard not really much about, but I saw it and I was like, this is beautiful and I need to have it. And it's a thriller, which means I really, really need to have it. I think I saw someone compare it to like Truly Devious and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder type of vibes. I haven't read Truly Devious, but like honestly, that could be added to this whole TBR pile, but I have read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and loved that. Also, I promise I will read the third book eventually and you guys will get that video, I, I swear, on my life. It will happen in 2022, maybe this summer. I'm not into like forcing myself to do things because otherwise then I get upset about doing them, but like maybe, maybe, could be. Lastly, I have a couple of romances that I'm super stoked about. So the first one is another newer release and that is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. I need to take this Target sticker off, but I heard this compared to In Love In Other Words and that it was a super cute like summer contemporary with a really sad ending. So when that time of the month hits for me, maybe this should also hit for me. So it'll be a double whammy and I'll get the most out of my tears. Then a book that I literally think I started around this time last year and like I read it in two sittings, but I didn't finish it. I got 180 pages into From Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata and never freaking finished it. And I couldn't tell you why, because I was loving this book. So I really want to actually finish a Mariana Zapata book and I want it to be this one. I really do. I want it to be this one so freaking bad. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this can happen. Those are all of the books that I just quickly picked up in like 10 minutes before, um, filming this. So I am pretty excited about all of them. I don't know what else I will read in the month of June. I will hopefully be vlogging every single week in the month of June. So look out for those but I don't really think I have anything else for you guys. Let me know if you have any suggestions for Pride Month or just books that you want me to read and talk about. I would absolutely love to hear from you guys anything that you've been loving or have loved. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really hope you're doing well reading mentally and otherwise, and I really hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.